we're back at Kisama, the Naga Heritage Village. In the last video, we've walked you through the, the Bamboo Pavilion, where we got to witness the rich culture, heritage, and tradition of the Naga. Now, in this video, let's get to explore in the indigenous ancient sport called the Naga wrestling, played by the man folk. So this is the 14th edition of the Hornbill Naga Wrestling Championship and it is held here at the MP Theatre in Kisama. A total of 30 wrestlers from different associations from across the state are taking part in this event. Naga wrestling is a popular indigenous sport which sees participation only by men the grappling sport involves two people who try to topple each other to prove their strength and claim victory. As for the first round, the direction given by our match commissioner, we, if both the wrestlers fail to knock down, take down one another in both bouts, both will be disqualified for the first round. Winning champion of the NWA championship. <laughs> In this sport, a colored cloth called the Febri is tied around the waist as players what avoid falling. Fun? on the ground. The wrestlers undergo rigorous training for months before taking part in this event and I must say it looks quite intense. I'm now with the champion of the 14th International Hornbill Naga Wrestling. Firstly, congratulations. Can I get a fist bump? Thank congratulations. You. Um, you know, how do you feel at the moment now being uh, the king of the ring? I feel happy, but first of all, I give thanks to God. I'm actually curious. You're just 23 years yes. old. How did you find your interest in wrestling? Because I'm, my dad is a wrestler too. So he impressed me, he encouraged me. So what are the kind of diets you know you have to maintain to, to, to keep a fit body? I actually eat pork, chicken, beef. I encourage beef because it gives the strength. So you've made it to the end today. You know, do you have any message for you know young ones who would want to join wrestling? Pursue yeah. wrestling. Yeah, try hard. Don't give up. That's it. Thank you so much for joining me again and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I'm now joined by Jessela Tioker, it's a three-time champion and the first runner-up of this year's Hornbill Naga Wrestling. Thank you, thank you for joining me, sir, and congratulations for securing the first uh, position. How do you feel at the moment? Uh, I feel uh, incredibly grateful for the opportunity. Uh, it's been a long journey and since my age is uh, uh, getting to me, so I'm kind of like uh, chasing, uh, chasing the dream more. Yeah. Um, how did you prepare for this competition? You know, the, the kind of diet and training that you had to undergo. Uh, the training and diet and you know, all. Uh, I've uh, joined the gym like uh, four months back, uh, which is an amplified gym uh, uh, that resides within my. Uh, Kel, the Kel Koyma village. Uh, it's been, I think, four, four months, five months running. And uh, it's not an easy thing to do. Like, you go there every night, uh, even though you don't want to. And then the diet and all, uh, it's come heavy. Like, you are, you are, you, like uh, there is three, four, five, three, four meals a day that uh, I usually took. 
and yeah, so far the, this got me here. I have one last question. You know, they say that uh, Naga wrestling is a game that builds bonds and brotherhood. Do you agree to this? And yeah, I, uh, I, I agree to that because you meet people from different uh, tribes, uh, areas, uh, even within your areas, and you know, that people you you are not close to or familiar with. Mm -hmm. So uh, eventually. Uh, People came together through wrestling uh, with different backgrounds. Uh, yeah. As you have seen it with me, this indigenous game, the Naga wrestling, is more than just the muzzle part as it builds the spirit of brotherhood. I'm Madeline Ambrosia with East Mojo from Kisama. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to East Mojo. For any queries, put them down in the